Good morning, guys. We are out hunting again. We are on public land, uh, crown land, how we call it here in Canada. This is zone 412, mountain area as well. And it is open for um, antlered white-tailed deer. One rifle has been open for a while now. I just uh, had to concentrate on elk first. I did hit this area previously, probably about a month ago, for uh, maybe less, for uh, archery moose. Uh, I found sign, but no moose, unfortunately. But I did spook a buck, so now I'm just gonna head in that general area where I saw him and uh, try to call. A lot of people don't realize that you can still call in bucks in September. There's nothing worse than there's nothing worse than driving and realizing you're still an hour away from the parking spot and it's legal shooting time so yeah I got here about 45 to 1 hour late This is not where I spoke that buck last time, but I decided to try here as well because I have gotten bucks here before. There's nothing worse than being set on a certain area and then blowing, blowing an animal out of its uh, bed on your way to that area. So what I do is I do this stand where I find the area with here and buy a game trail. I find game trails, I find uh, good shooting lanes, I set up there, I call for a while, if nothing happens, I keep moving. It's a bit of a windier day today, so I'm probably, the sound is not gonna go through the forest as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to move a little bit at a time, in case I approach a bedded buck, you know, I make sure I don't spook him. This area has really good shooting lanes. It overlooks a little bit of a valley. We're still close to the water.
those are alarm sneezes. When they whistle like that, that's an alarm. I think she might have a baby with her. I think she's letting, she's letting her baby know that there's danger here. It's like 30 yards away from me. into that group of deer a second time. I'm gonna let them uh, distance themselves. Because I don't like those alarm uh, sounds they're making. They may spook everything that's around here. I did not expect to call in a two. I know, I knew there's a family of, you know, does and fawns in that edge. Um, I didn't expect them to come in and the way I know these things guys is I don't set up trail cams or anything like that as you know I hit this area for uh, bow hunting season for uh, antlered moose and I just and also I've been hunting this area for a while so I kind of know where the groups are hanging out but what I do is every year, um, whatever I see, whatever sign I see, whatever animal I see, I build on that. I build my hunts on that. So it's a very dynamic situation. Public land is not like, you know, private where you get to pattern an animal. It's going to be there. It's more of a guarantee it's going to be there, it's going to do the same thing over and over again. Here, you can see a buck today and tomorrow another hunter might shoot it. Uh, so you got to adapt and be ready for change all the time. That's why sitting up there, and also sitting up through the camps, then you see, okay, you see what's in the area. I like to come in the forest and be surprised. I like to come here and, you know, not know what I'm going to run into. Another thing is, guys around here, they will set up trail camps and uh, obviously they're going to catch big grizzly walking on the trails and black bears and they're going to psych themselves out. They're not going to hunt that area anymore. But guess what? Grizzlies are everywhere. So if you're not going to hunt an area because it has grizzlies, it's tough because, uh, like I said, unless you go hunt east in the fields, in the grain fields, um, you're going to have grizzlies pretty much all over around uh, Calgary here. I just left that spot and I'm heading down into this valley. <laughs> and I can't 
keep bumping the same deer over and over again. I just poked them again at about 100 yards and I saw them between the trees. I don't know if that's a good sign. I tried to give them a bit of time to leave me behind and I keep stopping I keep bumping them so hopefully they don't blow the whole area ahead of me On my way out now, guys. <laughs> uh, what can I say? It goes to show nothing is for granted. I tried, I tried hard today. I went kilometers and I blew it. I got too anxious. I didn't sit in one spot long enough. And I ended up walking into the buck as he was slowly probably approaching me. I've done it before, I'll probably do it again. 
it's just a reminder that you cannot stop working hard for your animal no matter what you can be successful once you can be successful twice but eventually the forest is gonna kick your butt and that's the way it is that's what makes it beautiful and uh, that's what keeps us coming back thanks again for coming with me guys obviously today was a no kill day but uh, I wanted to share this hunting experience and hopefully you guys are gonna learn from my mistakes this is boot track stories and this is how they're made until next time take care